everyone, welcome to a beautiful day here at the Disneyland Resort. I'm so excited to be here. I like cannot contain my joy because today is the first day of Pixar Fest. Now I've known about Pixar Fest since D23, which was like in July. So this has been on my calendar for a really long time. Got my Pizza Planet shirt. Anthony's also got ah, a Pizza Planet we're shirt. Matching. We're gonna see the return of Pixar Play Parade paint the night, the new fireworks show, and everything else that Pixar Fest has to offer. I'm so excited. Here we go. Got caught up with Ben with his MU hat. Oh, I wonder where you got that from. Um, hmm. I wonder where. <laughs> you can already see like all of the Luxo Ball banners. It just makes me so excited for this. One of the overlays for Pixar Fest this uh, year is the pizza pour in Tomorrowland is going to be overlaid as Pizza Planet for the summer. So we just made it here and this is what it looks like. I mean, I see what they were going for, but it looks kind of crappy. <laughs> they put a little Pizza Planet logo thing up on the rocket. Well, sorry for your ears. It looks like the aliens are taking over. We're very on brand today. <laughs> it looks like a frat took over, like, some restaurant and place their like flag over it, you know. <laughs> Welcome to Alpha Beta Pizza. Inside looks super cute. Little aliens flying oh, around. Right. They changed out the posters. <laughs> Little aliens peeking in at everyone in the window. All the posters. And honestly, ever since I saw Pizza Port, I always like wondered. I'm like, why haven't they taken the opportunity? to turn this into Pizza Planet. It's That's just like it such an in, easy fix. Disney That's what it's, yeah, it is like that in Disney World. So, I mean, that's cool. <laughs> I'm so really happy about the people that are here today because sometimes I'll see someone wearing like a Taz, I'm so dumb about this, but like, I'll see someone wearing like a Tasmanian Devil, like Taz from Looney Tunes, so they'll be wearing that shirt at this park. And I'm like, mm. but like today, everyone's wearing Pixar stuff like everyone's so on brand and I'm just like wow <laughs> wow. Like a now. <laughs> wow Pixar fest wow <laughs> so now we're waiting for the Pixar play parade uh, we've got 30 minutes to go and it's like 90 degrees but hey it feels like summer <laughs> I can't wait to play with you so they can't wait to play with us! <laughs> Honestly, I was just thinking about it the other day and I never realized how much I loved parades until they were like leaving. Like when uh, Paint the Night went away, I thought that I was like never going to see it again because I was going off to college. But I kept my annual pass. I, I realized that I could do the trips and stuff. But like I cried when Paint the Night left and I feel like I'm going to cry when Paint the Night returns. I just I realized that I like love parades but it wasn't until they were gone and I missed them was when I realized that like, oh, that's like the best part of my day. Here it comes. <laughs> I forgot to mention, there's new floats. Stay tuned. <laughs> For annual pass holder. Whoa! Wait, what? <laughs> Woo! Everything's decked out for Pixar Fest. The Central Plaza is playing nothing but Pixar music. We've got a cool sign up here. Gosh, look at them. So great. This merch is literally flying off the shelves. Look, look at, there's a blue. 
So Cars Land for Pixar Fest is doing a Pixar Car short film festival. I'll show you more of that in a little bit, right? But right now, I'm waiting to look at a sneak peek of Pixar here. So here's the concept art. Pixar here stuff. I really like this. I wish they would have actually like done that instead of like keeping Mickey's face. It kind of like takes away from it. It's in the blue sky color. And there's all kinds of things you can check out here. And you don't have to have an AP for this either. So you can see like all the credit coaster overlays. There's gonna be a little like I can't uh, right there. There's gonna be a cute little like ball, like in Tomorrowland where it has water and you can move it. It's gonna be a luxury ball though. Something I always love about the Blue Sky Cellar is that there's all kinds of interesting knickknacks in here that you'd never really see anywhere else. I don't even know where they get this stuff from. Oh, and here's the new Paint the Night float that we don't get to see tonight. Apparently they're holding out and waiting for the movie to come out in order to put this out, so. Oh well. Here's more of the layout of things. I really like the little like walkway overlay they have there. And they let you in on a little bit of the design process too. Super cool. So here's the poster wall for the Pixar short movie fest. Uh, all made over as cars. special Pixar fist food but we're too broke for that so we went to the AP quarter and the line was wrapped around the building but it is just like a photo op so I guess we'll just save that for another day it's not worth it okay so we just found something that no one's talking about I think it's so awesome they're doing a Pixar shorts film festival like I haven't seen this on any of the blogs any of the posts like but like that's so cool. If you want to like chill out, you can just go watch some Pixar shorts. That's cool. That's so what we're gonna do. So we're trying to find a spot for Paint the Night tonight, and it's already yeah, it's two hours out till showtime. But the streets are already packed with people. T minus thirty minutes until Paint the Night. Woo! We're sitting across the way from Disney Junior. as I remembered it. Uh, we couldn't make it over to fireworks because 
everyone was like flooding out and there was like a it was all the way back in the plaza to get back into Disneyland so I guess we'll just have to enjoy that on another day but there you go that's like a little recap of Pixar Fest it's been a really fun day but I hope you enjoyed bye bye now <laughs>